We have seen that derivatives are defined in terms of limits, and we've seen that limits don't always exist. So it makes sense to us that a derivative might not always exist, and that is true. There are three main reasons that a function might not be differentiable at a point. The first is if it's discontinuous. If a function is discontinuous at a point, it's not differentiable at that point. Let's look at a quick example. Let's look at a function that's constant, except that it has this little jump here, just one point out of place. This function is not continuous here, and it's not differentiable here. To see that it's not differentiable, let's look at average rates of change. If this is A and here's A plus H, then the average rate of change on this interval is the slope of that secant line. Now let's let H go to zero. Let's look at a smaller interval. The average rate of change on this smaller interval is the slope of this secant line. Pick a smaller interval still. These average rates of change, remember, are supposed to be converging to the derivative. The average rate of change on this interval is the slope of this third secant line. And what's happening here? is that as H is getting smaller, the secant lines are becoming vertical. As that happens, their slopes are getting bigger and bigger. This line has a greater slope than this line, has a greater slope than this line. In fact, their slopes are going to infinity, which means that their slopes are not converging to a finite number. And that means that the derivative doesn't exist. The derivative is supposed to be the limit of the slope but these slopes don't have a limit. They're going to infinity. We'll save it for another video. I did say that there are three main cases where the derivative doesn't exist. In this video, we've looked at one of them. To be differentiable at a point, a function needs to be continuous at a point.